what a great way to start the week. Oh, that is coming out. That is coming out. Um, I'm quarantining in spot inside my spare room, learning my songs again because I've, I've well, I think I've forgotten how to play them. So <clears throat> I was going to do it last week, but I just didn't. So I'm starting this week off relearning them. There's only three of them, and yeah. I don't think I'll be able to get into a church and do what I wanted to do this month because everything seems to be closing and we're all supposed to be quarantining ourselves. So, I mean, I've got time, so I'm just gonna, gonna learn them this morning. Happy Tuesday. Oh, I just put myself in the eye. Ouch. So what songs have I actually agreed to do? Let's have a look. <laughs> Why am I always wearing this jumper when I'm doing music? Billie Eilish. I know it's a song everyone just knows, but I really like it. And it's a challenge. I've been watching you. <clears throat> no fair. You really know how to make me cry when you give me those. You're on a spinny chair, but... <clears throat> <clears throat> By the way, um, I'm not a belter, so when I'm doing low notes, you won't be able to hear them because I need a microphone. So this is day four. It's still quite painful here. I feel like it's trying to adjust in my in my lip. Like it's still quite tender. I'm just trying to drink lots of water, make sure that my lips aren't dry. They are a little bit dry. But it could be so much worse. All is well. Bye Andrew, I'm gonna go get skinny. I'm just putting my shoes on. Where are my keys? Oh, my car was already unlocked. Sorry Kat, if you're seeing this, I don't mean to be late, but I'm dealing with incompetence. I've got my car back though. <laughs> it's my baby. Right, let's go to gym. Hard. I showed some of it. I was like, Kat, do you mind filming? Like, Andrew keeps on yelling at me that I'm not filming enough. <laughs> so, um, she kindly obliged. Now I'm at Asda. Asda, good old Asda. And I'm going to try and get some supplies. Not sure what they'll have, but pray for me. All right, let's go and moan at Andrew. Andrew, Asda was rubbish. Right. What are you doing about your flights for that? Hello. <laughs> Okay. 
Let me pause this because I can't stop watching Brad Monday because of Kirsty. I'm obsessed with her. Anyway, went and had my hair re dyed at the Wolfpack salon. Kirsty did a fab job. Um, yeah, I should have just been a bit more on it with her um, and and asked her, look, what do I need? Rather than like, oh, I've got pink hair, washing, washing, and then not realizing, actually, my hair's not pink anymore. <laughs> but we had a big chat. I know what to do now. She's giving me all the stuff, uh, sending me a link later as well. And we just had such a massive chat and a catch up and hung out with Libby as well. And me and Lib, she's great too. Just love both of them. And if I ever am having a downtime and I need to vent, they're my girls. I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna vent away and and they're gonna vent too. And we're all just gonna go into a vent circle and love life. But also maybe hate it a little bit too. So that was good. And now I've cleaned the kitchen because I am a pro at cleaning the kitchen. And I'm gonna start cooking a risotto. Just want a mushroom and chicken risotto, but I couldn't buy any chicken because everyone's gone nuts in Asda. So I'm gonna do basically a risotto with mushrooms in it and onions and bacon lardons. Not ideal, but it'll give it a nice fatty taste. So I'm quite up for that. So I'm on cooking duty tonight and it's, it's not gonna be rice, uh, salad, and two vegan sausages on top. I'm actually going to cook proper food. Mind you, that is proper food and it's good. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cook a, a proper hearty meal. So pray for me. And Andrew's going to get me a cider because I really want another one. Lady of the Manor. Move over, Mary Berry, because Grace is in town. Ha do I get the, the handshake from um, uh, Phil Hollywood? No? Paul Hollywood! That's gross. Right, I'm hungry. Dinner has been completed, and I thought it was pretty good considering I cooked. What did you think, Andrew? Um, and I'm sweating my titties off. Haven't got Corona. Oh, Ramsey with titties. <laughs> no, I was saying I'm the next Merit Mary. Um, I'm just from cooking. Cooking makes you really hot. Um, and I overate. I had leftovers. Andrew just had dessert, but I'm too too full to have dessert. So carry on with my Copperberg. And um, yeah, what were you watching, Andrew? The yeah. Act, The Act on Amazon, and it's about Gypsy, Gypsy Shrine, Gypsy Rose, Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Uh, it's based on a true story, and it's about the mum that kind of like makes her daughter feel unwell, but actually she's fine. I think. I don't. I don't know. But we're watching it, and it's for me. I feel like it's um, it's taking me a little while to get into. 
I'm sure it'll be good. And then I'm just responding to like Instagram messages and YouTube little comments. Because uh, I like chatting to you all. I like multitasking. I don't do it very well, but I like doing it. What are you doing, Andrew? Life admin. Because we now have probably months and months and months of free time to do life admin. So why are you doing it now? That's a lie. I'm actually looking at new firmware updates for a camera. Um, and a couple of new lenses. The, I should be doing that because I did all my admin last night. So I've run out of life admin, so... You can squeeze me. <laughs> <laughs> I've just parked. I'm about to go get my eyelashes done by Maria. And I'm running late, which is not good. But this is my eyelashes. I know, God, it's been like all self-care last week, this week. So hopefully she won't yell at me. I've cleaned them. I have cleaned them. And I maybe ripped a few here where I was trying to get mascara um, off my bottom lashes, but hopefully. So I'm back in my car, and I'm just here my own issues done. Um, we were both running really late, and she had someone after me, so I didn't get my camera out and show her doing it, because she was like a little bit flustered. Uh, what was the other thing I wanted to talk about that I thought was really important, but I didn't want Maria to get upset? Um, I had so many panic attacks whilst I was laying down while she was doing my eyelashes. I have no idea why. I've got one one suspicion that it could be because I didn't I didn't get cash out for her because my cash machine up the road from me um didn't have any money in it and I don't know I get I'm a, I'm a very obsessive person in the fact that like I like being on time mind you I'm shit at that I like doing things correctly and you know very organized and everything like that so when I'm not organized I that can spike my panics and so all I can think was I didn't have the cash for her she's fine I can do a transfer but I know she'd prefer the cash um because that's how she she kind of does she does things um but again she doesn't mind the transferring she just has a preference so when I'm when I'm not able to do that for someone or do you know do you know where I'm going with this? I just, yeah, I think that just made me panic. So I was there and I just kept on panicking and panicking and panicking. And I haven't had a panic like that in ages over something so little. And Maria's my friend, like, she doesn't care. She, like I said, if you want me to go to this cash machine down the road, she's like, don't worry, just transfer it to me. Like, I would say if it was a problem. So, um, yeah, first big couple of panics in a while. I thought I was gonna have to leave and just have one eye of eyelashes done and come back another time. And I was like, yeah, that'll be a cool story to tell. But, the, oh, this fudded with my mouth. The cool, sto the cool story to tell is that I, I did my breathing techniques. I was like going like this with my hands. I was wiggling my toes and I was just listening to her music and just trying to zone out. And I got through it. Don't always get through my panics, but that one I did. And it's probably because I didn't want to leave the shop with one set of eyelashes. One one good eye of eyelashes and then not on the other eye. Is that really vain? I feel like I'm having a good couple of vain weeks that I'm giving to you. And it's just all kind of bundled together at the same time. I mean, I'm having a great time. It's making me feel great. But also... It isn't like this all the time, and obviously you'll see that in the, in, in the weeks that go on. Um, so yeah. I'm going to go work for Helen now. 
we're gonna we're gonna make a really cool video and i might give her a couple of smooches who knows you just don't what i mean you'll probably know in a little bit because i'll film it well i probably won't i don't know i'm really trying guys okay and i hope that you can see it right i'm going now Stolen. So it's been a challenging couple of days. Um, I went and God, what did I film last? Shit. Got my hair done. Uh, went to the gym and then I can't even remember at this rate. Um, but anyway, from what I remember, I think uh, I was going to film being at Helen's. But sometimes when I'm at Helen's. I just want to, I think I've said this before, just want to bash through everything that we need to get done and then I can go home, talk about kind of what we've done and then like what I'm about to do. But I came back from Hel Helen's and the day before I had a really bad migraine. So that would have been on the Thursday. Oh, literally all my days are merging into one because I don't have a proper routine at the moment. But I've been suffering really bad with migraines this week. I think partially it's got to do with my medication, which I was talking about last week because uh, I think that's now affecting me in more ways than one but again as I've said I've had Botox for my migraines before and I really feel like I know that my Botox Botox my Botox ran out or just stopped working like a good while ago I just really desperately need something because um I slept all day Thursday um because yes, on Thursday, mm, I remember now, got my lashes done. Right, she's back in the room. Right, got my lashes done on Thursday and I had, yeah, the biggest panic attack whilst getting that done. Uh, and then came back and had a really, really bad migraine. Helen canceled, which was fine. Uh, and I just ended up sleeping that whole afternoon. Took some medication, was like responding to some YouTube comments but I had to like put my laptop down and just take myself to bed because my head was so bad um, and then the next day happened and I was working with Helen and I was going to be like yeah yeah get it done and my head I woke up that morning and I was like late getting ready to go to her uh, and my head was still funny and as the day progressed like the day was good we got a load of stuff done but as we started finishing stuff off, I was like, why am I feeling so sick? And my head, like, still got it now, which is what I was about to say next. It's just all my head here and it's going behind my eyes and I just feel like I need to be sick all the time. It's not coronavirus because those aren't the symptoms. Um, so <laughs> again, I came back from hers at about like five and just came back, slept, and then woke up, had a bit of dinner, was watching a bit of TV, had a cider. And I was like, no, I'm not feeling good. Went to bed. Then I was just having stomach cramps. Yeah, I then went to bed with stomach cramps and didn't get to bed until half two. And now it's Saturday. So, um, still not feeling much better. It's the afternoon. Been to the garden centre because it looks like we're going to all be on lockdown and like fully self-isolating now. And if I'm going to do that, I want to be proactive and do stuff to kind of like stimulate my brain and just feel like I'm achieving something otherwise I get mega depresso so we've gotten a few bits from the garden centre uh, bits that we were I think money that we were going to spend sorting the garden out we didn't really want to do that now mind you the weather's been quite good so we probably would have so it's just all about the garden really which I'm going to show you in a minute but I just haven't been drawn to pick up my camera because my head is just like here and I just putting sentences together and speaking is just quite different, different, difficult. See, I can't even speak. Here he is. We've bought a, <laughs> a sofa dining th situation and stupid me was like, yeah, no, it'll be fine, it'll be fine because they're all selling out and it was like the best price I've ever seen on something like that. And now we've messaged it out and it's a bit tight. Hang on. 
Andrew, you shouldn't be slacking on the job. He's done poo patrol. Um, oh yeah, our backup plan is that this idea will go down here. We're going to dig up all of this. Helen's told us to do that. Dig up all of this. Dig up down there. That uh, The lawn might work is on charge. But this is our garden, y'all. That's going to get replaced in a couple of weeks because it's falling apart. And um, Storm Dennis and others have absolutely wrecked it. So, yeah. She's just, Helen's just given me like so many great ideas. We've got a barbecue, which we've got to pick up from Andrew's parents, but that's gonna go there. We're thinking like two cool plants here in pots. Uh, if, if this situation doesn't work out, we're probably just gonna have like a casual seating bit. That might look a marketplace. And it's just all of this, this is so ugly and we just need to do something with it. And Helen's just given us fabulous ideas. We've got these. This is a poo bag. You do not need to see that. Um, which are like solid and they just kind of like go in the corner and then you get light. I don't know. Mm, they're okay. They're a bit gross. I don't even know how they work. Why haven't you turned them on? I don't know whether I'm turning them on or off. But we've got outlets. Electricity outlets. So I could hoover out here if I wanted to. I wouldn't, but I can't think of what else I'll do. I'll charge stuff. But yeah, Andrew's just not doing his job properly. All the poo bags, he's done poo patrol. Just excited, really. If we're going to be on lockdown, we're going to do my garden. But that's really bad and needs to be dealt with. I'm sorry if you can see my pants. So I should crack on. What's the problem? Cold? Yeah, put a coat on. No, I'm alright. Please get my gloves. Let's get it off. What do you mean? They're probably in the car. What have you done so far? Screw down. I just want to work out the best way of doing it. Oh, you could have saved the daffodils. I would have put them in a jug. They will split, don't they, anyway? Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, can you not? We'll just cut them and I'll put them in a. Cut them. Put them in a. What? Interesting. Baby girl, isn't it? Sunday, and I am wearing my finest. Bearing in mind it's like one or something, it's, it's not the morning. Um, I had a really bad flare-up with my stomach um, after I had dinner last night. So I got a lot of the house stuff sorted, made the bed. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just watching Andrew <laughs> mow the lawn like a twonk. Um, but yeah, um, I got loads of stuff done and then I ate and I was like, oh, I'm not very well. And um, just basically had butt blasts on the toilet. <laughs> I feel so rough this morning, like my head still hurts, my stomach is kind of like, mm. I've had breakfast or brunch or lunch, whatever you want to call it, like half an hour ago, and it seems to be settling okay. But I do apologise if these have just, just cascaded down into just nothingness video clips, but I'm really trying to show you as much as I can. Um, I have got my cousin come, coming over today and she's self-isolating with me because um, her mum is coming up to where she was staying with her dad or something. Well, they're both coming up 
and so she's getting out of the house just because her mum's high risk so she doesn't want to be staying there because she's not working in London and yeah it's just basically like we're she's staying with us until further notice um probably I'm not sure this is good or bad but she has nowhere to go and I'm like look I'm gonna get it at some point or I'm happy to get it and get out of the way if she has it or whatever just trying to be a good family member okay because she has nowhere to live so please don't hate me um batteries flashing because apparently I've just been doing so much vlogging so I'm gonna change the battery and I'm gonna show you Andrew mowing and if it's like a mower for a 12 year old because he's really hunched over. I'd probably look good mowing though. One second. <laughs> that is too small for you. Really centered in front of you. No. Like this is center. Oh. Your thumb down and then pull. Oh, wow. oh got it. my god! Wait. He's copying me. So here I am doing the sign off and I didn't think I'd be sitting here, you know, not talking about what I had coming up next week and just bits and bobs coming up because um, because the whole world has gone into meltdown and I don't really want to talk about it too much because I'm sure you're sick to death of hearing about it anyway uh, but there's a few things that I wanted to clear up uh, I'm not sure Andrew's helped me edit this one because my laptop's also gone into meltdown so um, I might have mentioned my cousin and her girlfriend being with us at the moment I wanted to clear that up because I don't think I explained that very well but basically they've been living in a van for, for about four or five months they left from where they were living and then they've been trying to find somewhere because they're, they're based in London and find somewhere to live and they finally found they finally found a place um, and their tenancy agreement doesn't start until the 1st of April so when this was all happening <laughs> for them to self-isolate it would just be in a van no no space no proper toilet nothing and Becky couldn't go to her parents because her mum's well my auntie is high risk and they couldn't go to Elsha's because uh, I think both of her parents are high risk um, and you know a little bit older so they I just yeah they're, they're here okay <laughs> they're here don't yell at me uh, I'm so happy to have them because um, I love Andrew to bits but I think we're irritating each other quite a bit and we have the girls and we've got Angela but now we have my cousin Becky, her girlfriend Elsh, and their house rabbit Bobby. So we've got two rabbits, two dogs, and then four grown adults. Um, and yeah, we're just self-isolating all together. I didn't want it to come across me being irresponsible because yeah, I know, come over to mine, let's all hang out and all of that. It was more of a, more the fact that my family, she's family, she had nowhere to go. And even if she wasn't family, I'd be like, yeah, you can, you can come to mine. It just made sense. And I'm so happy that they're here because I feel like I'm gonna be more productive. Uh, we managed to get a food shop in today. Very, very limited supplies, but we, we got something, some things. Uh, Becky cleaned my fridge and has done a meal plan. Elsh is teaching me about plants which is so exciting. Andrew's just being Andrew. Um, uh, did he, yeah, he started the, pat, uh, the decking today uh, and we all have just been 
slobbing out on the sofa, chilling out and having some downtime. And it's so nice because I haven't seen Becky and Elsh in so long. So to have them here, um, for this like in between time until they maybe go, I don't, I don't even know what's going to happen, whether they're out there, whether they are going to move into the flat or not, what the restrictions will be. I don't see it being a problem personally. Um, but I know that there is a process to think to situations like that. So if people aren't there to manage it and make it happen, what, what do you do? So that's where I am at the moment. Um, I think we, they also did a pets at home run to get rabbit food and hay and things like that. Pets at home are actually being really good. They are only let a certain amount of people in at a time. They've taken a lot of toys and non essentials off the shop floor so you can't just walk around and like have a little browse so it is just the essentials that, that that's there um and we're all just just cohabiting together trying not to get on each other's nerves but there hasn't been any tension we're all loving each other <laughs> um i just hope that everyone is safe at home doing what they're supposed to be doing i'll admit this last week, I didn't appreciate how serious it was going to get. As I said, I didn't expect to be signing off going, right, here we are, expect a lot of stuff of me being at home uh, these next weekly vlogs. Because I'm not going to stop because a lot of you have have been saying that you're hoping this is a permanent thing. Uh, and that's obviously what I want it to be. But in my head, I'm kind of like, well, who wants to see me doing stuff at home, which probably isn't that exciting. Um... But if that's what you still want, I'll continue to do this. Um, and yeah, obviously, which you, you do know, I'm self-employed. I now can't see Helen, so that's a loss of income for me. Um, Andrew is also self-employed. So we've applied for everything that we possibly can. Um, I really hope that anyone else that's also self-employed or has been let go from their jobs because of this situation is hanging in there. Um, I'm desperately thinking of you, hoping that you're right, because I can imagine there's so many people out there that are, you know, got a family to feed, uh, you know, babies on the way, uh, funerals that are happening. And I mean, Boris Johnson did say that you could attend f funerals, but um, my auntie who is Spanish, her grandma passed away and obviously she couldn't get there but even if she could get there to Spain to be at the funeral there were only allowed 10 people in the no it's very different but anywho it's still just a horrible thought isn't it um and I suppose I just really want to say a big thank you to the NHS and to people that are working in supermarkets trying to please everyone because I can imagine you're getting screamed at um you're you're having people come up coming up to you probably coughing and spluttering on you um because they're probably ill or, or you, i can imagine there are a lot of stories that people have to tell of their um their life right now and how they're trying to cope keeping their jobs not keeping their jobs uh, trying to work out a situation getting help from the government but it's not going to help enough like I don't want to go on about it too much because I'm, you know, I'm just saying a load of stuff that you already know. But I think the main thing that I want to say coming from me is just hoping that everyone is safe and well and doing everything they possibly can. My situation, not my situation, but my view on this has changed tenfold. I, I really do understand how serious this is. Like last week, yes, I got my eyelashes done. Things weren't in lockdown. Yes, people are isolate, self-isolating, but if that was if they were unwell. Um, Helen hasn't been unwell, so I've been seeing Helen. I've still been working with her, but now it's gone to the point where it's like, we need to do what we can now to help the NHS uh, to take the slack off of, um, off of that. And that is just staying at home unless you need to leave the house for essentials and necessities or whatever so not the most cheeriest sign off but I had to address it because I didn't want it to be like a massive elephant in the room and it just to kind of like cut off so I hope you don't mind me just sitting down 
and having a little chit chat again because that's that's apparently what I'm very drawn and good at doing which I well I'm assuming people now have the time to sit down and probably watch a video like this but uh, it's not, not the most exciting um, I suppose I do want to say that there are going to be exciting things happening but I can't promise you anything <laughs> I am still getting involved to some degree in the garden. There are some home improvements I want to do. Um, me and Elsh have been talking about doing a 80s aerobic style video, which I might film of all of us doing. Uh, they also have an Oculus Quest, which I might have put a video of me um, trying that last night, because that was so funny, but so incredible. Um, and we're just, the main thing is we're just trying to keep safe. So um, I suppose if there's any other videos that you wanna see from me, whether that's um, my skincare routine, my makeup routine, um, what other things was I thinking of doing? I was gonna talk about the situation that I'm still going through with my dad and lawyers and everything like that, but I think that's, kind of like a story time slash my life is so fucked up I should be in EastEnders. Uh, just any suggestions that you might want to see from me that I have spare time to create for you. And again, another thing, oh, pardon me. Another thing for me to edit and put together. Um, just let me know because it's all very well doing this weekly vlog situation but it might start getting a bit repetitive. So if there are any other things that you could think of that you can envision me doing, I'm happy to have a whack at it. I know probably a, a get to know me video could be up there, but it's the, la it's the last kind of video I wanna do. But if I see that in the comments and that's what people want to see, then of course I'll do it. Uh, and I'll try and think of my way of doing it um so yes here we are just a yet another big thank you to the nhs and um really thinking of all the people that are still working and the people that have lost their jobs people that are in a situation like me that are self-employed they're just trying to do everything that they possibly can to feed families to pay rents mortgages i understand that there's some situations where things might get frozen, but there's some things that you just have to pay for and here we are. So, um, thinking of you, sending so much love as always, but even more so in a time like this. And let's just maybe start some dialogue in the comments below from what everyone's doing and how everyone is and to just maybe preventing me from going insane um yeah i'm sorry i'm not chirpy enough but it's not really a chirpy time is it no okay see you next week i guess and i'll speak to you in the comments below when this goes up i love you so much